In this video, I'm going to show you how to get Google AI Pro account for free, one year trial without paying a dime. And you can use it for your video creation. You get two terabyte worth of space and other benefits. Let's dive straight into it. First things first, head over to Google Gemini or ChatGPT or any generative AI and ask it to generate an image of an African woman, passport image, about 25 years old. You can create for a guy or for a female depending on the gender you want to use. So I'm going to be using a female for this. So I said realistic image of an African lady, 23 years old. It should be a passport image and I'm just going to send it. So you can use any generative AI for this and let's just see what Gemini it is, is going to give me. Like I mentioned, use any AI of your choice. So after generating the image, yes, I love it. It's so beautiful. So I'm just going to tap on download and save it. So I have my passport image ready. Now this passport is the first step. The next step is go to your preferred browser and search for postermyworld.com. You will have to create an account on postermyworld.com. So tap on create an account or you just log in. So I'm going to log in with my email. I'm going to log in with my email. Of course, you have an email already. It is the email you are going to create as a Google Pro account. So I'm going to use one of my emails. And as soon as I am in, it will just bring me to an interface like this of course you will not have this my designs it is because i have designed some things so i will come to this search button right here this search button up here and search for student id so after i search for student id you can select any of the templates that is there pick any of the template that is there so let's look for one that is looking very good so let's say I will use this, I will use this one. So I will provide the link to this resource and this particular design in the description of this video so that you can try it out as well. So my particular square ID card is something like this. So I'm just going to, uh, let's say I'll tap this or any one that you feel like using there but i would love to use this so after i tap on it i'll tap on edit so as soon as i tap on edit i'm just going to remove some of the details please feel free to use any random details it's not compulsory you use your details of course if you're a student currently you can use your details but if you are not a student feel free to use any random details so i'm going to tap on this image and tap on replace remember the image we generated on gemini or chat gpt or anywhere we will use it so i'll tap on my upload then i'll tap on upload media tap on upload media you will not see all these images because you have not uploaded anything else so i'll tap on upload media and i will go and pick the image that i downloaded which is this and immediately i select it it is going to be there so i'll just crop the image let me put crop and add so the image is there already you can see my image is ready here then i will change my name i'll change the name to any random name let's say i will use i'll use joan joan matthew so joan matthew ensure that all these details you are using to create the id card you have written it down somewhere then my student id card i'm just going to put any random number so let's say okay so once you tap on it you tap on edit and then you put whatever it is you want so this one i would say btc <laughs> btc 22 22 sci sci one two so i'm going to copy these details now so that i will not forget because i will be needing it later on don't forget that all these details you will need it so i'll copy it i open my notepad and i'm pasting these details that i use now i said her name is joan matthew matthew then that is the student id card then date of birth ensure that the date of birth is more than 18 years old so i'll say date of birth january 15 2002 so i'll come here and write it down so that i will not forget january january 15 2002 2002 
So after I put January 15, 2002, I'll come here again. Address. So let's say, sorry, I'm going to back that. Because I made a mistake, I'm going to use the undo button right here. So I tap on undo. And the university, I'll put University of Nigeria. Unsuka. So please feel free to use any random details. These details is not of University of Nigeria. I am just using this for educational purpose. So I increase it. Look at how I increase it. I left the logo. The image is there. I've edited the name. I've edited the student ID. Then the address. I'll put Unsuka Nigeria. Then I will have to add expiring date because they need they need to see an expiring date. They need to see an expiring date. So I will try to put an expiring date. Look at how calm I am at editing this. So you can use something similar to this or this exact details. But make sure you change the date of birth. Make sure you change the name and make sure you change the student ID. Now let's add expiring dates. Tap on add. Tap on text. Tap on plain text, then you put expiring, expires on, you know, something similar, expires on, then I'm going to tap on that expires on and bring it down here, then I'm going to reduce it, then I'm going to uh, come to this style here and make it bold. Look at that again, I tap on the text, I select the text, then I scroll below my screen this this guy is right here this guy is right here i scroll down and i tap on a the capital a and small letter a style then i tap on bold to make it bold then i reduce the size and i line it when i mean i line i mean i allowed it to be on the same line as the the previous details there after i put expires on i will set it properly where i want it to be expires on then i'll reduce it let me bring it up a bit i think it's okay here then i'll now put date of expiring ensure that the okay i can just put issued on instead of expiring on so let me edit it and put issued on issued on issued on write another text to write the expiring date so i'll tap on add tap on text and i'll tap on plain text then i'll write the expiring date let's say i mean issued on the issued date issued on the 8 8 2025 so i'm saying it was issued for me on august 2025 i will drag it down here then i will come back to the aa style scroll below my screen come back to the aa style and make it bold then i will reduce the text size and ensure it is aligned as well so i will ensure that it is aligned with the with the other details here i mean Make sure it is formatted properly. So let me write it well. 8, 8, 2025. So I've made my student ID card. I will tap on this download button at the right hand side here. And I will save it to my phone. Now the next part is the simplest part. So I'll just tap on download right here. After tapping on download. I will allow it to save to my phone. Now, after downloading it to your phone, you can see it in my gallery right now. We are going to go to the next step on how to get our Google Pro accounts. Head over to your preferred browser and tap on Google Pro Student Trial. So once you search for it, you are going to see an interface like this. To tap on this Gemini for students, get AI Pro for one year the link to it directly is in the description of this video as well so tap on it once you tap on it like this please follow this step one after the other so and as you can see this offer ends on december 9th 2025 so you have all the time you need to create as many accounts as possible especially if you're a video editor or a graphic designer or you think you'll be needing it because it does not only come with um uh 
image or video creation it gives you access to both two terabytes of storage um google pro models audio overviews and a lot of options so you can see it get it for one year tap on get offer if you made it up to this point while watching this tutorial, then kindly like this video, drop Google AI Pro in the comments, subscribe to this channel for more helpful updates from me. Now let's get back on track. And when you tap on get, get offer, you can see instead of 28,000 Naira per month, it's asking you to um, verify your eligibility as a student. So this is my Google account, Mary Olushegu. You can see it right here. That's my image. So I'm just going to tap on verify eligibility to verify my eligibility to see if I am qualified for this. You see how simple it is. Please watch this video as many times as possible if you can. So in the country, I'm going to tap on country and put in Nigeria. Of course, I'm in Nigeria. In any country you are in, that is where you will put. So the school, the school you put on your ID card. So I said University of Nigeria. Nsuka, you can see. Then my first name. That's the first name. We are going to be using the details on the ID card. Now we said our first name is Joan. Joan. Please check the spelling. Don't misspell anything. Let's check the spelling. Joan. Okay, Joan. Then our last name is Matthew. Matthew. Then let's see the date of birth we used. We used January 15, 2002. So I'm going to say January 15. 2002 please enter all the details accordingly then i'll just put any details uh i'll put the same detail of my email then i'll say verify student identity now after doing that ask me to verify my credentials by signing into my school portal but of course i'm not a student of university of nigeria so i'm just going to act as if i'm about to sign in which is tapping on that sign in and when it loads you forward for you to log in your email just go back like use the back button on your phone and when you use the back button on your phone it's going to bring you to an interface like this and ask you to upload proof of enrollment that yes you are truly a student so that is where the id card we created comes in we are going to upload the id card now how do you do that tap on upload proof of enrollment and it's going to bring you to an interface like this so i'm going to tap on add documents and i'm now going to go and pick that image i downloaded from start my wall so it's on that download i'll bring it in can you see it i just brought it in he said you can use school id card class you do tuition receipts blah 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 so once i upload that i'll tap on submit and it should only take some seconds to to verify me so let's wait and see Now, can you see that I have been verified for Google Pro at no cost as a Nigerian student? I didn't use my real details. I didn't use my real, um, real school or anything. So you can try it out regardless of whether you're a student or not. Then you can use your existing emails. You don't need to create new emails. You see, I did not create any email. I just created my ID card and came here to do all this. So once I am here now that I said I've been verified, I'll just tap on get Google AI Pro. Now this is where you use your MasterCard to verify. And once you load it, they will not deduct anything. So after that is done, you just unlock it so let's just proceed so once i i have been verified you can see it said i should get student offer i'll tap on get student offer i agree and i will allow it to load out i already have my master card with me here you can use one master card as many times as possible or you can use someone else's master card so once i am here now just allow it to load out my payment option so you can see it asks me that i should register i won't be charged if i cancel before october 10th 2026 they will send me a reminder blah 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 so this is my master card since it has been connected if it has not been connected just input your details normally as if you want to make a payment online then tap on subscribe so immediately you tap on subscribe, it is just going to subscribe for you automatically. Let's see. Can you see? I have just subscribed to Google Pro Plan and I am in paying zero fees. And for the next 12 months, my account will be on Pro. So I'm going to activate all my emails. 
if you would not like to go through this stress, you can reach out to me to activate yours for you at a fee of 10,000 Naira only. Or you can or you can also get an already activated one from me at 10,000 Naira as well. So this is now my Gogo account. Can you see this? I am now in Pro. You can see this is my student ID. When they verify me, this is they welcoming me to Google Pro. Can you see this? I now have two terabytes worth of space for the next one year. So the next and the final step now is to go to my Google Play Store to remove my um, card so that I can use it for another one. And since I am here on my Google Play Store, I'm just going to tap on my 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 icon that shows my picture right here. Then I will tap on subscription payment and subscriptions look at payment and subscriptions here once i tap on payment and subscriptions once i tap on payment and subscriptions i'll tap on subscriptions once i tap on subscriptions once i tap on subscription you can see a lot of my subscription i'll come and tap on this google one pro then i'll cancel the subscription after canceling the subscription, I can use my ATM. I'll select the reason which is declined to answer. I'll cancel it. So I have my Google Pro account for the next one year at no cost. And I can use my ATM to activate all my other accounts. So try it out today. And if you made it to this point, please drop a thank you in the comment section. And share this video to everyone who needs it. Thank you for watching.